Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jackie, and today we are back with another video. So, today we are going to be doing an Instagram followers pick my makeup thing because I wanted to hop on the bandwagon because everyone's doing it. So, yeah, that is what we're doing today. So, I went and did a bunch of polls on my Insta and you guys picked what you wanted to see me put on my face today so I got all the products over there so let's just hop right into this but before we get started do not forget to follow me on all my social media if you do not already which is all at Jackie Moi which is written right here for you all and yeah I hope you guys enjoy alright so for my primer I did it between the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the Maybelline Baby Skin and you guys chose the Smashbox Photo Finish so I got that right here so we're just gonna put it on now and once again my mirror is here I don't have my contacts in so this is gonna be a bit difficult to see but it's alright we can make it work I don't know how much I'm putting on my face right now because I cannot see what I am doing. Um, let's uh, bring the mirror closer to me. I'm so blind, guys. Literally, I cannot see anything and it's not okay. I've also had the worst migraine today and it was not going away and I was just not having it. But here I am filming for you all, <laughs> cause that's what I do. Okay, um, for my foundation, you guys picked the Stila Stay All Day, and I got that right here for you all. And I put it between my normal foundation that I do, which is my Wet n Wild mixed with my LA Girl. But you guys wanted to switch it up, so we're using the Stila Stay All Day, and this is in shade Light 3. So we're just going to pump a little bit of this out and then dot it all around my face. This is totally not my shade whatsoever, so this video is going to be a bit interesting. I'm just going to have to lighten this up with a lot of concealer. <laughs> Try to use up everything I'm that I pumped out of this. Try to even my face up a bit because this is not my shade. So don't know how well this formulation is gonna mix with the LA Girl one. So this is gonna be quite interesting when I put on the concealer. But since we are using a darker foundation shade, I'm just gonna tap some of this onto my neck to match my neck <laughs> to my face a lot just but I don't really care what my neck looks like so we're just gonna leave it like that I guess okay just stroke it down <laughs> you're not supposed to do this with the beauty butter don't do that okay so for my concealer I put it between the LA girl pro concealer and the bomb time bomb and I've really been loving the the bomb time bomb concealer lately and it's really been working for my skin and covering up my like under eye circles and stuff and it's been working so good and I highly recommend it to anyone but since we are doing it in Instagram followers pick my makeup you guys chose the LA girl one so we're gonna use the LA girl one um, I've completely stopped using the LA girl one um, since I've switched over to the Time Bomb one, and it's so good, honestly. So much better of an application, and I love it so much. Um, but since we're using the darker shade of foundation that doesn't really match my skin at all, we're gonna use a, um, darker shade of Pro Concealer. Um, normally I use the shade Porcelain, but this time we're gonna go back to the old shade I used to use when I did not know how to pick the color of my face, and we're going into Light Ivory. 
So yeah, let's get started. This mess. As you guys can see, this thing is almost empty because I use it so often, but I don't know why everyone raves about it. Like, there are better concealers out there. Go get the Time Bomb Concealer by The Bomb Cosmetics. It is amazing. But yeah, I think I have another one of these from when I was, like, obsessed. Didn't know much about makeup, but I mean, I can't be talking because that was, like, last year. So I think we're almost out of this. Um, so I'm pretty sure we have another one, though, so should be fine. Just tap some. Have you got them bits that need to cover up? Uh, and then I like to just like stroke it over here to like lighten my face up a bit. Okay, now time to blend this in. Okay, so now time to see what we picked for our setting powder. Uh, so setting powder, it was between Derma Blend and Cover Effects, and Cover Effects won that. So we got my Cover Effects over here. I used to be obsessed with the Cover Effects setting powder, and then Derma Blend sent me four powders, like. I'm so blessed that this is my job. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Derma Blend powders now. Like, oh my god, yes. Yes, sister, yes. Um, if you're gonna invest in a setting powder, I highly recommend Derma Blend. But if you don't want to get Derma Blend, the Cover Effects is also a really good alternative to the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I still to this day have not gotten the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Like, um, I just don't see the need for high end products when. Here's the real tea, sis. All makeup is made at the same factories. There's literally no difference between high end brands and low end brands other than the fact that they have a name brand. That's literally the only difference. That's why I only go to drugstores and get cheap makeup because it's the same. <laughs> same formulations, literally there's no difference whatsoever. And you can literally take my word as fact because I worked at a makeup company last summer and I got all the inside scoop and that is fact. Honestly, it's just, don't waste your money guys. <laughs> Now that I'm done with my rant, we're gonna go into the next product. Um, so the next thing we're doing is contour, and I put this between Measurable Difference, the Bronze Collection, Baja Bronze Collection, and Elf. And the Baja Bronze Collection one. So, we're gonna be using this, and we're gonna be using my normal shades, which are, <laughs> if you can't tell, Cocoa Glow and Tan So Fine. So for the Cocoa Glow, I put that right here. And for the tan so fine, I put it under my like, jawline as like a darker shade for like a shadow. Once again, I do not have my contacts in, so I cannot see how dark I'm putting this on right now. It's kind of just a blur, um, and I'm just putting it where I normally put it. After this, I do my bronzer and I put it between the Sweetheart's bronzer and I put it against the Chocolate Soleil and the Chocolate Soleil 1. I don't normally use this. I got it as a sample in an Ipsy Glam bag, I believe, but I've used it like once maybe. It smells exactly like chocolate though, so I really like it, but I've just been loving the Sweetheart's bronzer. It's so good. I love it so much. But we're just gonna apply this to the face where you normally apply it. We're gonna tap into the Cocoa Glow and use it for a nose contour. I apologize for getting so close to the camera. I, it's just because I can't see my mirror <laughs> if I'm not this close. I'm the worst at nose contours, if you guys have not realized. I'm like awful at them. We're gonna dip in some cover effects setting powder once again with the same brush and just kind of pack that onto the nose in the center. 
sort of like that. And then we're gonna dip into my other brush, also by NYX, and just use this to go like this and like sort of like bake, but not really, because I don't know how to bake. <laughs> I apologize for all the dust flying through the air. <laughs> um, so for my brows, I put it between the Billion Dollar Brows Pomade and the Kevin Alcoin Eyebrow Kit Thingy Mabobber Powder thing. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I put it between the, those two. So while I wait for my face to not really bake but sort of bake, we're just gonna do my brows. If you guys want a, I like an actual eyebrow routine, like how I like tweeze them and stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, my brows suck anyways, let's just give up on them now. <laughs> They're not gonna get much better than this. Okay, so the next thing is like blush and highlight, so I need to wipe my face off now. Okay, so to dust my face off, I'm using once again a NYX brush, and I'm just gonna blend the shades together, sort of. So next we're gonna take some blush. For our blush, I put it between the Too Faced Love Flush and Bang Beauty, and the love flush one. So we're just going to be taking some of that and applying it to the cheeks. For our highlight today, I put it between my all-time favorite, the Physician's Formula Butter Highlight. I've been loving that so much. I've been using it every single day. Or the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. And the Anastasia Glow Kit one gets more well known brand. But as you can see, um, this shade and this shade are a bit uh, crumbled. So, <laughs> oops. We're going to be dipping into this top white sort of shade up here. And just applying that where you apply the highlight. Let me try and do this. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Anastasia, but, I don't know, it's just not easy to carry with you everywhere, and it breaks easily and stuff. I'd rather just have something small and compact that, like, works as well. And the Butter Highlight is highly pigmented. I love it so much. Please sponsor me, Physicians Formula. I promote your brand way too much. <laughs> it's not like you're ever gonna watch this, though. Okay. Uh... Let's uh, buff this into my face a bit, so it looks a bit more um, not really natural because <laughs> it's makeup, it ain't natural. So the next thing we're doing is eyeshadow primer, and I put this between the Milani or the Urban Decay, once again, Urban Decay one because it's the more well-known brand. So let's apply this to the lids, then blend it together with a finger. For our eyeshadow, I put it between the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, and y'all pick this. So we're just gonna create a look using these shades. Today we're gonna be doing a look using six brushes. So to start, we're gonna be tapping into this Tempera shade right here in the corner. <laughs> totally being a beauty girl right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just gonna put that all over the way. Also, if you're ever doing makeup that is not like a daily routine where you know what you're doing like for each step, do both eyes at the same time. Like, do one eye and then the other. Or else you will forget. It's gonna be a disaster. Just, just don't do it. Okay? So, next we're gonna take this Luxie 227 blending brush and dip into this Bouillon Bou 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 Fresco right here in the center and we're just gonna pack that into the crease
So then we're gonna take this Elizabeth Mott blending brush and we are going to dip into red ochre shade. We're just gonna pack that into the outer corner and blend it up into the crease as well. Blend them together. If this turns out good, I will be actually shocked. <laughs> Cause I'm like not even like sure what I'm doing right now. Repeat on the other side. I literally can't even see myself in the mirror. It's so like dusty and stuff. I'm doing the best I can, guys. <laughs> then we're gonna dip into this unbranded brush. I'm sure it has a brand, it just doesn't say on the brush. Um, and we are gonna dip into this love letter. Pack that mostly on the inner corner, but like blend it into the center as well. Once again, tap into the blonde fresco and blend the two shades together at the crease. My looks always start off looking disastrous and then they turn into something really cool, so I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna take this brush right here and we're gonna take the shade Vermeer and pack that into the center of the lid. I'm gonna tap back into the other two shades. Red Ochre and Love Letter. Tap into Love Letter, put them there. I'm just gonna pack the shades in right now. Same on the other side. Then take your Blonde Fresco shade, blend some more in. Then we're gonna take this other brush and take the shade Primavera and just place them in the crease. And then we're just gonna blend them together. And then we're gonna tap into the wand fresco and tap it on the lower lash line. And then we're gonna tap into the other red ochre, get on the outer lower V, and the love letter on the inner lower V. And then we're gonna tap into the other shade in the center of the room. So you're basically just recreating the top on the bottom. And then you're gonna blend them all together once again. And then we're gonna take the same little brush and dip into Vermeer again and pack it as a brow highlight and it in a Blend it with your finger a bit. Alright, so after our eyeshadow, the next thing we did was for our eyeliner, and I put it between my Revlon Skinny and my Milani Normal. And you guys pick the Milani. And for my bottom lash line, um, I asked you guys if you wanted a white or black waterline eyeliner and you guys said that you would want the black so we're gonna do the black too so I do my liner a bit different than all other beauty gurus and I start on the outside and make my line and then I bring it in I've only recently started to do that too though And then I'm gonna do the other eye. Whenever I do good on one eye, I mess up on the other. So then we're gonna do the um, water line eyeliner. And we're gonna be using my Ciate London one. I need to sharpen it, but I don't know where my sharpener went, so that's going to be a problem. We're just going to put it on the waterline. 
for our, our mascara. I did it between my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara and my Essence Lash Princess mascara and L'Oreal one. So we're just gonna apply that to the lashes. Then for my lips, I asked you guys if you wanted to see the Koki lipstick or Ibi lipstick and you guys chose Koki. So this is in shade Desire. Alright guys, so my camera stopped filming when I was doing my lips. So after my lips, I went ahead and I went and did my setting spray, and for my setting spray, I put it between the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day and the Urban Decay All Nighter, and you guys picked the All Nighter. So I went ahead and just sort of put it all over my face, and then after that, I went and took the excess like highlight that was remaining on the brush, and I kind of just put it in the places that I highlight, and yeah, that was the rest of my video, and this is the completed look. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial slash Instagram followers pick my makeup challenge. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe for more of me. I post videos every Saturdays and Tuesdays at 8pm Pacific time. Be there, you don't want to miss it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys do want to keep up with me on my makeup journey, do not forget to follow me on all my other social media, which is all at Jackie Moi, which is written right here for you all, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Love you. Bye!